This is the traffic light reaction, where our solution will go from yellow to red to green, just by shaking the flask and the solution within it. We start by preparing our solution. Measure out 3 grams of solid dextrose and 5 grams of solid sodium hydroxide. We dissolve these two solids in 250 milliliters of distilled water. Next, we prepare the indicator by dissolving 1 gram of indigo carmine in 100 milliliters of water. Then, add about 5 milliliters of the indigo carmine solution to the dextrose and sodium hydroxide solution. You'll see that the solution turns red. Once all of our materials are in solution, let's let it sit for 10 minutes while we explore the chemistry happening in the flask. This reaction demonstrates two key concepts, indicators and oxidation reduction reactions. The indigo carmine is the indicator, meaning that it exhibits a color change in a solution that is at a specific pH level. In this case, when placed in a solution at a pH of between 11 to 14, it turns yellow. Because we've added sodium hydroxide, the solution is basic, within that pH range, and the indigo carmine exhibits a yellow color. The second concept we'll see here is oxidation reduction reactions, or redox. Redox reactions occur when one species donates electrons to another. In this case, the indicator is being oxidized by the dextrose. In a moment, we'll contribute to the oxidation by shaking the solution. Shaking the solution will add more oxygen, or, in other words, further oxidize the solution. This oxidation is why the solution changes colors. As you can see, after sitting for 10 minutes, the solution is now light yellow, as we predicted because of the indicator at this pH level. Let's see what happens when we shake things up. In this demonstration, we saw the dextrose, sodium hydroxide, and indigo carmine indicator solution go from yellow to red to green, just by shaking the flask and oxidizing the solution. At the end, you observed how the green solution faded back to red, and eventually it would even have gone back to yellow. This is because the oxidation of indigo carmine is a reversible reaction. As the oxygen we shook in leaves the solution, the solution returns to its original color. Thanks for watching!